I had to make a part two of warning comes before destruction. I had to make a part two because of how America continues to call evil good and good evil. Now that's something that I've been saying over and over again because every day with America calling evil good and good evil, it's increasing every single day and it's making God very angry. You know, I think about Barack Obama when he was at the uh, Planned Parenthood conference last Friday and, and said to those people who specializes in abortions, saying to them, God bless you, which is very disrespectful to God. And I also think about a couple months ago when Barack was in Israel and he called for Israel to be divided, once again, very disrespectful to God. And God is very angry. Psalm 711 says, God judges the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. Every day, God is getting more and more angry because of how America continues to accept abominations. And because of that, God is going to show great signs and wonders, dramatic signs and wonders. Job 9.10 says, He performs wonders that cannot be fathomed, miracles that cannot be counted. Psalm 65.8 says, The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. Daniel 4.3 says, How great are his signs and how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and his dominion is from generation to generation. And God said in Joel 2.30 and in Acts 2.19, I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood, fire, and billows of smoke. You see, there's always been unusual things going on when it comes to uh, weather patterns and what's going on in outer space and uh, wars and rumors of wars and the government and earthquakes, famines and pestilence. But these things are going to dramatically increase. In a big way, God is going to show great signs and wonders. The weather patterns, pay attention to the weather. Is going to dramatically increase. Pay attention to what's going on in outer space. Signs in the sun, moon, and stars are going to dramatically increase. To the believers, do not be afraid. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And to the unbelievers, they're going to be afraid. And they're, they're not going to know why, why these things are going to happen. They're, they're just going to be dumbfounded of what's going to happen. And don't even understand why these things will be happening. In Luke 21, 11, Jesus said that there will be great earthquakes in diverse places, famines, and pestilence. Jesus also said in Luke 21, 25, and 26, and there shall be signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth, for the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Please accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Please watch my video, which is titled, Now is the Day of Salvation. God is very angry with America, and he is going to show great signs and wonders. In Jesus' name, it is going to come to pass. Please give your life to Jesus Christ today. Now is the day of salvation.